So I just sprayed some of this Roundup four months weed killer because man I got some serious weeds going around here other than that though I try to clean up as much as I can so that's that I got some grass growing but this side's better I keep this area clean and that is my track been up conditioned with it. And those are neighbors, they owe me 30 bucks. Never paid me. But I'm about to come out here later on with my savage. Tear it up. So, right here, I bought a couple things for my RCs. I got a uh, outside foam, no oil, but the inside foam, pre-oiled. I'm going to use this for the Savage XL. i to get a pack of those. And some nice colorful antennas. I'm going to put those on today. And a pack of the antenna caps. And I also bought the under tray for my slash, right here. That is the under tray. Uh, under tray for the slash 4x4. I'm about to paint that up today, make it look sweet, nice. Yeah, I'm going to do that today. Well, here it is, the under tray. The slash. Uh, I think there's only one guy on YouTube that has a video saying that it's no good, but I think the reason why he had rocks and pebbles go in between the chassis is because he didn't have the nerf bars on, which also gives access of flexibility. If you have the nerf bars, they want to keep more dirt, less dirt going inside. So we're going to try that out first. I'm going to figure out what colors we're going to use. Okay. All the colors that I have. I'm going to figure out what colors we can use. Let me figure out what color I'm going to use. So, I'll be back on choosing the colors I might use. Well, I started painting my under tray. I didn't know what colors you use. I had a bunch of them left over. But I decided to use all of them. Uh, a little bit of a monkey painting, that's what they call. So, I came out with this. So, a little something different, not the same. It don't matter anyway, it's the under tray, but it gives a little bit of color. Oh, yep. And continue doing my art. Right, so here it is. Ooh, look at that. Junique, one of a kind, under tray for my slash. Kind of gives me a day to do a body like this. Splash a couple of paints, different colors. Uh, off in a while with white. It stands out more. And I'll be cutting later on and setting it on my slash. My video on that. To be to continue. Here it is. I'm about to cut it out. I just did the first cut. And it's not really that hard to cut. If you're having difficulties to cut with these Lexon scissors, pretty much is that your scissors are pretty dull and you need a brand new one. So 
As you can see. There's quite a right here. Yep. It's not that hard to cut it. Yeah, I'll show you what you want to do. Is you want to cut it like this. See, it doesn't take that long. Like, not so much pressure. See? It's not difficult, like some people say. And what I would do is I just take a little piece off like that. What are you talking about? My daddy's business. He said you're going to get the So what you do is just work your way around. And just go like that. Once you get a little cut, you can practically just rip it. Just be careful though when you rip it. You know? See? Comes right off. No problems. You get down to that part and just get the Lexon scissors and cut it. It's not really that hard. Like that guy always says. Oh, it's so hard. Oh my god, I'm sweating it. Not even that hard, man. You just need some balls to actually cut it. That's pretty much all you need to do. This comes off nice and easy. Just like butter. Just like butter. So, I'll go ahead and finish this. And then uh, I'll show you the finished project. So, there, it there it is. Nice and cut out. Ready to put on. Sweet. Now I'm about to go outside and put it on. Well, there it is, guys. I'll do a little update. I put a pink antenna on that, but I just finished driving the slash. And I got it real dirty. And, uh, I gotta say, uh, the under tray. Doesn't keep a hundred percent out of the trash, but I say it makes it makes a big difference. Um, I just draw right now, like it. It's got just like grass and a couple of dirt, but put the Nerf bars on it. That's what I'm saying. It helps out, so it doesn't get in between. It's nice and tight. So I'm thinking that's why the other guy said that the dirt kept going in between, but because he didn't have no Nerf bars. But this one's got it, so it keeps it nice tight from both sides. And there it is. I would recommend it. It's a lot of trash out. This is my custom made one. It's colorful. So, there it is. And I put that part in right there. I didn't have to cut nothing. It just fit in nice and perfect. So, there you go. Under Trade Pro Line. Recommend it.